What's up everybody, it's your boy Richard back with another video and as you guys can see we're going to be reacting to Garden Bam Bam 8 official teaser trailer and we're going to be reacting to the uh, the secrets of Syringin. So yeah, but first we'll start off with the Garden Bam Bam 8 teaser trailer. So yeah, also why is this at like 3 minutes? Why is this at 3 seconds? Supposed to be at the beginning, yeah there we go. Yeah, so there we go. Alright, let's do it. In three, two, one, click, click, clack, we are going to bam, bam, back. Yeah, there's that, that blue bam, bam. People are saying that this guy's name is Flumbo, Flumbo Bam Bam. So yeah, this guy's name is Flumbo, I guess, because people are saying that his name is probably Flumbo. People are saying that his name is Flumbo, and some people are also thinking or predicting that his name is actually Flumbo. Yeah, but this blue Bam Bam is going to appear in Garden Bam Bam 8. Because we saw him on the Garden Bambin 8 uh, thumbnail picture. On the picture on the, of the Garden Bambin 8. We saw him on the picture. Hi. It's been a while. What the hell, Bam Bam? Wait, Bam Bam's alive? Yeah, I forgot he, he was like all like damaged and all that. I, I'm not sure what happened to him, but... Maybe the naughty ones did something to him, maybe. Maybe it's Sir Dada doing the naughty ones attacked Bam Bam. Yeah, there's that blue Bam Bam. New character! Finally! Finally, a new character! Who is this? It looks like some type of like ant eater, some sort of creature. What the hell? It looks like some sort of ant eater or something. I wonder what this guy's name is. Bam Bam's playing the banjo. Is that a banjo? I'm not sure. Yo, you guys hearing this music, bro? I'm about, I'm like actually jamming to this music. Garden Bam Bam 8. So that's the Garden Bam Bam 8 teaser trailer. Um, yeah, so, we're gonna be meeting up with Blue Bam Bam, a.k.a. Flumbo. I don't know if that's actually his name, but we're gonna see if that's his name in Garden Bam Bam 8. Whenever Garden Bam Bam 8 comes out. Alright, now, we're gonna react to the other video. Alright, guys, now we're gonna be reacting to The Secrets of Syringin. So I'm believing we reacted to another video that was called The Secrets of Bam Bam, and now we're going to see The Secrets of Syringin. Let's start Deep it up. Within the lower levels of Bam Bam's kindergarten, there exists a very mysterious and intelligent monstrosity. A monstrosity so rich with knowledge about Jivanium, it became obsessed with what could be done with the substance. <coughs> And that monstrosity is the Surgeon, as it was codenamed when it was first created. Oh, wait. It was given a name at one point. The name of the monstrosity is Fuchsia. Oh. So. So. 
Syringin's first name. Syringin's first name was. Okay, so Syringin's first name was Fuchsia. Fuchsia. I don't really, I don't really like Fuchsia, bro. I don't think that's a good name for him, bro. Wait, no. The name of the monstrosity is Syringin. To say that Syringin changed a lot during development would be an understatement. And I'm here to discuss with you the secrets of our beloved surgeon. The Garth and the Van Van cast each have their own detailed story and personality. Yeah, we... S Garth and, Van Van, you and also, by the way, is the voice actor of Bitter Giggles talking right now? Because the guy that's talking right now really sounds like Bitter Giggle right now. Also, I'm going to see, like, the actors that played Bam Bam, Bitter Giggle, and, um, Bambolina, Stinger Flynn. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen the Join secrets of Bam Bam. The episode of the Bam Bam Chronicles, narrated by me, Ty Coker, the voice actor of Bitter Giggle, a series Ty where Croker. we each episode to discussing the histories and secrets of a member of the Garden of Bam Bam cast. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. This was uh in uh I'm pretty sure this was in the Secrets of Bam Bam. Garden of Bam Bam Four served as the introduction. Also, guys, this is like ten minutes long, so we're gonna be here like for about sixteen minutes, I think. One of the series' most vital characters yet. Where if you completed a set of certain tasks, you would gain access to a secret meeting room with a drawing on the wall depicting a strange figure never seen before. And that figure was Syringin, a four-armed, fuchsia-colored, surgeon-like figure whose name consisted of a portmanteau of the word... Yeah, he was a secret character surgeon. and, uh, in, uh, Garner Baby at 4. Syringin's final appearance is the last of many iterations that came before it and that he looked very different from when he was first sketched. The first iteration of Syringin was first sketched when the Euphoric Brothers were playing cards while drawing concepts in a nearby notebook. Liking what they doodled and thinking they could make something bigger of it, they got to work. The result was what you are currently seeing on screen. This is a recently recovered image of Syringin's first iteration. Okay, so... So this was, uh, Syringin's, like, first... This was like Syringin's like um This is what Syringin's like first This is what Syringin first looked like. So the the Euthric Brothers were drawing on like paper and they come and they came with this. They drew this and yeah. On screen. This is a recently recovered image of Syringin's first iteration. It was at this Yeah, this is like the Syringin's like first form, like Once it's like first, very first okay, form. The surgeon, but something was wrong with it. It looked too cute. Sorry, Syringin number one. The surgeon was then given two more arms to give it more surgical tools, and the location of the mouth was readjusted, thinking it would make it much more intimidating in its 3D. Yeah, to be honest, bro. Of the I have to say something, bro. Honestly, bro, th this guy right here, the mouth just looks way too cute, bro. It looks like someone from, like, Lanky Box or something, bro. Too cute. Sorry. Face looks like Number something one. from Lanky Box. The surgeon was then given two more arms to give it more surgical tools, and the location of the mouth was readjusted, thinking it would make it much more... Yeah, like, Syringe is, like, way creepy, bro. Like, look at him, bro. It's creepy as hell. And it's 3D version. One of these surgical tools was originally going to be a knife or a scalpel, which was then replaced with the mechanical grabbing hand, as it didn't make sense to not give him any way of grabbing objects. And also to make this new character stand out more, its color was changed from the light blue it originally had to the final fuchsia color it currently possesses. As a result of this new color, it was temporarily given the name fuchsia which the name Syringin was later used as a substitute for. And with that, 
the Syringin in his 2D form we know today was born. Where he later finally debuted in his physical form in Garden of Ban Ban 7, with voice actor Ray O'Hare playing his role, who as a- Yeah, if you guys don't know Ray O'Hare, whatever his name is, Ray O'Hare, uh, he's the voice- I'm pretty sure he's the voice actor of Syringin. A fun little bonus fact, also played the train conductor in the Euphoric Brothers' other game, Human Apocalypse. But going back to Syringin's 2D form, you might notice something strange that was quickly pointed out by many fans when Syringin's mural was first seen by the public. Take five seconds to try and see why Syringin looked off compared to all other wall murals of the franchise. Wait, what? All murals of the French try and see why Syringin looked off compared to all other wall murals of the franchise. I don't know, maybe because of the, like, the four arms, maybe? You see the problem yet? No, I don't uh, see no problem. Do you? Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't. That's right. Syringin's eyes were brown. And he was the only... Oh, yeah! Bro, <laughs> bro, how did I not notice that? Yeah! His freaking eyes are brown, bro. That's right. Syringin's eyes were brown. And he was the only one of all other characters that was like this. But rest assured, this has nothing to do with lore. It was a it, simple oversight. And it is his eyes still brown? Like, is his eyes still brown? I'm not even sure. Games. But early concepts and wrong eye colors aside, what if I told you that Syringin's story was originally going to be much different from what it ended up being in Garden of Ban Ban 7? In fact, the entire chapter originally played out completely different from how the final version of Garden of Ban Ban 7 plays out. The story for the chapter, much like most chapters, went through many different scripts. And while most versions of the script have been lost or deleted, one remains intact. In this early version of the script, the overarching goal of the game remains the same. In alliance with Syringin, you entered City Engine in search of Jumbo City Josh. Engine. But City Engine was very different. The mayor of the city was much more tyrannical, where he ruled over his citizens with an iron fist. He was much more reminiscent of a cult leader than a mayor, but he was still willing to work with the player to achieve his goals despite his... I mean, yeah, he is the mayor uh, of, of the City Engine. City you enter in Garden of Ban Ban 7, you instead find yourself limited to a single block, with long walls enclosing what remains of the city. These walls would constantly be banged on by- Honestly guys, you guys- did you guys even like Garden Band Band 7? Did you guys even like Garden Band Band 7? Because- I thought Garden Band Band 7, by the looks of all of the trailers, I thought Garden Band Band 7 would, would be like, intense. I thought it was gonna be insane. Like, intense. Insane intense. But, it was still intense, though, because of the Jumbo Josh fight and all that. By hungry, naughty ones, trapped- And also the freaking, uh, Javanium baby thing that was chasing you in one of the parts. On the outside. Unable when you- when you had it to do the, like, the memorized thing that was kind of like musical memory, but with Bam Bam characters. Because of the light. From the balcony in Syringin's office, you would be able to see a faint light in the distance, which Syringin explains belongs to a tower that Jumbo Josh is nearby. The secondary goal of Garden of Ban Ban 7 would have been to try and reach that second tower. But there was a problem. Aside from the tiny part of the city you're trapped in, everywhere was dark, which also meant everywhere else was infested with naughty ones. Through puzzle solving and fighting the notified army one by one, you would slowly but surely restore power to different parts of the city, allowing you to finally reach the tower. It is during these expeditions to try and restore power that the majority of the action took place. The Jivanium baby would have been encountered in one of the buildings. The notified Bitter Giggle would have been his own mini-game instead of the chase sequence he ended up getting in Garden of Ban Ban 7. Oh, uh, so... So the notified hellish bear giggle was gonna have like a kind of like a mini game instead of you being chased by him. He was he was, he was gonna have like a mini game, but they decided to say nope. Or he's gonna have a chase sequence. 
Kittysaurus was supposed to have been trapped in a pit that the citizens would have been standing around ceremoniously, where you would help her escape as part of a puzzle. A sequence where you enter a courthouse and Sheriff Toadster judges you for your crimes, before the lights go out and the entire building is swarmed with naughty ones. But most interestingly, a crazed Sheriff Toadster was scripted to trap you inside of a grocery store inside of which you would have had to get a phone to work, where you call Sir Engine for help, after which he sends a loud contraption to scare the crazed sheriff away. Not notified, but crazed. This contraption would dramatically slide towards you through the darkness, which turns out to be a loud, mobile power generator. After escaping the grocery store, you would use this generator to play a mini-game where you push the generator into dark blocks of the city. Once okay. activated, it would light up the area temporarily, giving you some time to enter and scavenge the nearby buildings for supplies that would allow you to fix power boxes that would light up the area permanently. But you gotta do it quickly because the generator only stays on for a few minutes, and if it deactivates, the block goes dark again and it would require you to reactivate it again manually. So if it goes dark while you're scavenging in a building, too bad. Yeah, this is the part I was talking about with the musical memory. What right thing. now is an unused location that was meant to be one of those blocks that you restore the power to. There were three blocks that this needed to be done for, and when all three were successfully done, that's when you finally reached the tower you could see from Syringin's balcony. But once you make it to the tower, you discover that Jumbo Josh is suspiciously nowhere to be seen. Upon returning to Syringin, his true plans are revealed. When you return to find him in a scrapped location that was meant to be the city's public park, you find him standing on a platform raised high above ground. This is where the conversation between Syringin and Sir Dadadu would have originally taken place. And after tricking and trapping Sir Dadadu with the scepter piece... Okay, so... So, what I understand... What I understand from that, um... So, Syringin and Sir Dadadu would have... Would have this would the, would have this conversation in the park, so that's where they would be located. But they just said, "Nope, we're not gonna do a park. We're just gonna do it like right here." Finally, taking place, and after tricking and trapping Sir Dadadu with the scepter piece, he gives a villainous speech, explaining how he used you to do the hard part and get enough power delivered to the city to get the machine that's trapping Jumbo Josh to work. Yeah, this part right here was fire, bro. Opens, ...and an elevator holding a chained Jumbo Josh is raised from the ground. And this is where the chapter concludes as it was originally meant to end. As with the last Ban Ban Chronicles episode, please do let us know your thoughts about this original version of the script. This sequence of events... Honestly, bro! ...much cooler on paper than it was a playable experience. And that's why this version of the script was scrapped for the most part. But wait... What's that in the distance? Syringe. Oh, it's the... It's the citizen. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Ban Ban Chronicles, where the secrets and history of another character will be revealed. Honestly, I want to see the secrets of Nam Nam. That would be really cool. I want to see the secrets of Nam Nam, because I kind of want to know him a little better. Comment down below which character you want to learn more about next, and... Definitely Nam Nab. I definitely want to do Nam Nab or Bitter Giggle. And say it with me. Keep on ban banning. Keep on ban banning. There you go. I said it. Yeah, you see the secrets of Ban Ban. Yeah, we did react to the secrets of Ban Ban. And now we had the secrets of Syringe. I honestly, while I honestly would love to see more secrets about more of these characters, I would I would love to see more secrets about these Garden Band Band characters, like Opilla Bird, Josh, Fiddles, Nabnalina, Nab Nab, Kamataki and Chimataki, Kittysaurus, Big Eagle, Queen Mousilia, and everybody, even Sir Dadadu. We need their secrets. We need secrets about those characters. And if and and also we need the secrets. Also, especially we need the secrets about that blue band band, the flumbo and the freaking ant eater dude. Yeah. 
I would really love to see the secrets about those two characters, but so far, we're not going to get their secrets now. We're going to get their secrets like whenever the character is going to be in the chapter. I'm pretty sure the Anteater dude will be in Garden Babe at 9, and Flumbo dude is going to be in Garden Babe at 8. So whenever Garden Babe at 8 releases, then we might have the secrets about the blue band band and whenever going band band 9 comes out we might have the secrets of the ant eater um guys also comment down below does the ant eater dude have a name i don't even know his name do you guys know the name if you guys know the name of him comment down below and i'll see and i'll see what this ant eater dude's name is but for now yeah this is a perfect time to end it. 20 minutes. Alright. Anyways, guys. Yeah. You guys know what to do. And I am out. Peace.